Hey guys, welcome back to another Mech Spotlight. Today we're going to take a look at this Supernova, and this is the hero version from yet another legendary mech mod, the Quasar Supernova. Uh, as far as the model goes, I believe the only things that were added, and I'm not that familiar with the base model, but uh, the shoulder pads are definitely a special, uh, a unique touch to the model for this hero mech. Um, Yet another legendary mech mod does do this with a lot of the legendary mechs or hero mechs that are included in the mod. Uh, they'll have extra little uh, unique appearance items on them. Um, but I like these spiky shoulder pads. Uh, so with the spiky shoulder pads being the main thing, uh, that kind of went with my idea for the build. And I'll explain that more in a second. Uh, obviously, I just went with the Franken uh, camo pattern uh the i think the base hero one was just this one it's like uh the, the default camo pattern it was nothing special so uh and then you have the legend one as well let me uh reset the colors actually which just looks stupid so you know if i wanted to look like a clown then maybe i would use that but that's really not the aesthetic i was going for so and as you can see it's just the default camo pattern basically um so i did consider using like a clan wolf uh one or what was the other one that i liked yeah the ghost bear is not bad maybe changing the colors up a little bit uh but in the end we'll go with the trusty old franken uh revert back to how i had it uh obviously change the colors up a bit so here is the build and you can see right away this is a straight up brawler which is why I think the spiky shoulders are very appropriate here. Um, so basically we go with a double LBX 20 and then we got four ASRM sixes, uh, advanced SRM sixes on the, the torso. This differs from the stock build for this hero variant, uh, in, in two ways, the ballistic weapons on the stock build are LBX tens. I upgraded them to the 20s. Uh, the SRMs on the stock build for the hero are uh, Streak SRM4s. Uh, so I like the the advanced SRMs. Uh, I think they're really good. They're heavy. Uh, from what I remember, they're heavier than standard SRMs. Uh, you know, these ones are four tons for clan item. That's that's fairly heavy. Um, but I like them. If you're going to go with Streak uh, SRMs, these are a pretty good option. Uh, let's go over these uh real quick the quirks uh you get your standard clan mech quirk here so that gives you mobility um some cost increases and uh the weapon spread radius incoming damage to armor and structure um case protecting all components you get improved targeting long range obviously this is not going to come into play for us with this build so we can just skip over that uh, the hero armor, you're getting a decent amount of, of bonus armor there on the arms and the center torso. Um, sorry, center torso is structure. So the armor is only on the arms. You're getting plus 12. Uh, then you're getting bonus structure on the torso and the legs. Uh, so it's not bad. I, it'd be nice to have some, some more armor there. Uh, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, it's always nice to have anything extra when it comes to uh, armor and structure. Um, now, this is the Quasar Quirk. This gives you a top speed modifier of 20%, which is huge. Um, you can see it, the speed on this thing for being a 90 ton mech is at basically 75 kph. Um, and we are not even using that big of an engine, you'll see in a second. Uh, the LBX Auto Cannons, they're going to get a projectile speed modifier of 20% and a cooldown modifier of 15%. Um, so great for the auto, for the LBXs, uh, and then your streak SRMs, you got projectile speed plus 25%, uh, percent, and then your optimal range, uh, not maximum range, but optimal range does get plus 20% there as well, which is nice. I will say I'm not a, just kind of, if you saw the last video, um, similar to that, I'm not a hundred percent sure that the streak SRMs uh, uh, quirks apply to the advanced SRMs. The advanced SRMs do use streak ammo, um, so I'm assuming that they do. Well, I guess we can check. Let's. Uh, the optimal range and max range are actually the same for SRMs. Um, 
what should they be? ASRM6 clan uh 450 so it looks like it is not being applied to the advanced srms so we are kind of missing out on that quirk and i i wanted to hope that they were being applied but i had a feeling that they weren't um let's just check the what am i looking for here spread range no i wanted to see uh the projectile speed Oh, missile speed. Okay, I was looking for a projectile. Uh, 500 meters per second. Missile speed, 500. So yeah, I'm going to go out on a little limb here and say that those uh, bonuses are not being applied. That's okay. The main weapon here is the LBX-20s, because uh, those things absolutely shred. The ASRMs are still excellent, and honestly, they, they feel just as powerful as ever, even without the bonus of the quirk. Um, but I did kind of notice that in playing around with the, the mech, it, uh, the ASRMs felt basically the same as they had on other mechs uh, that I'd used them on before that didn't have bonuses. So, uh, you can see the LBX-20s take up basically all the space on the arms. Uh, so you don't have a lot of options there. They just spill up all of those. Uh, so we got the ammo, double bin on each leg. Um, you might want a little bit more ammo with this build, to be honest. Uh, the way I play it, I try to conserve the ammo till I get in closer, uh, so that I don't have to use as much ammo as I'm closing in. Um, another double bin for sure would be enough. You would just, but one bin, uh, one ton of ammo, I feel like would probably be enough adding that to this. I just don't know what you would drop to get that. Um, you could drop a probe, the probe maybe. Uh, the streak SRM ammo, you get one double bin of that. Um, like I said, that's not the primary weapon of the build. It's kind of a finisher. Uh, so I didn't find myself running out of that too much. Uh, and if I did, it wasn't a huge deal. My, my main concern is make sure we keep enough ammo for the LBX 20s. Um, but again, I mean, you could drop this engine down. I wanted to try and keep as much speed as possible on this. You can see I'm using a 315 engine for a 90 tonner to get 75 KPH out of a 315, uh, core is pretty good. Um, I mean, that's with other bonuses as well, uh, like the, the mobility gyro and everything, but it, it gives a pretty good bonus, um, from the Quasar Quirk. So XL engine, um, I thought about going maybe a double XL engine, but that was actually going to, then I would have to remove the clan endo structure because you can see we have no other spaces, uh, crit slots left. So it, it, it was the same weight savings either way. Um. And I like the XL engine better because you can lose one side and still and still survive. It's only when you lose both sides of the clan XL engine that you would actually die. Um, which is cool. But uh, the double XL engine, uh, even the clan version, that's not the case. If you lose either side, uh, then you're out. So, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Armor is all maxed as usual. Uh, we went sniper sensors, uh, advanced ballistic FCS, and the and then I did a small advanced cockpit because I needed the extra ton. Um, you know, probe, ECM. I like having the ECM because it is a brawler. You usually want that on brawlers. Uh, that's why I was saying you could possibly get rid of the probe to add another ton of ammo, or you could just reduce your engine size and uh, add some, some ammo like that. Although you'd have to figure out how you're going to fit it in. So you'd still have to, I think losing the probe is going to be the best way to fit another ton of ammo in there. Otherwise, you're going to have to shrink your engine size enough to, to also drop your endo structure. Um, so that's going to be a little tough to do. I think I tried doing something like that. It didn't really work out. One other thing that this Quasar uh, variant, uh, hero variant has is this fixed uh, weight savings. It's only three quarters of a ton, but you know, take it where you can get it. It certainly came in handy because as we were just discussing, you're having trouble fitting everything on here anyways. Um, so yeah, I think that's the build. I really enjoy it. Supernova is a, one of my favorite clan mechs, uh, assault mechs, uh, from way back. So it, to me, it's a little nostalgic to play it. I really enjoy the playing, uh, a solid brawler like this. Um, and it really seems to perform if you ask me. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have any thoughts on the build or if you have other builds for the Supernova Quasar that you really like. Um, this is pretty similar to the stock build. Uh, you know, we just upgraded the weaponry. 
was was really what we did. We upgraded the LB tens to twenties, and we upgraded the SR streak SRMs to advanced SRMs, uh, and their sixes instead of fours. So we just really gave this thing more offensive power uh, by sacrificing some speed because I did drop the engine. I think the default engine for the stock Quasar build is like a I don't remember what it was like a three. 90 380 or something like that it moved the the speed of it was at, in the 90s if i remember right like over 90 kph um so it's really fast for an assault mech uh with the standard build i wanted to try and keep as much of that speed in the build as i could uh unfortunately i was not not able to keep the jump jets on it that's another thing the stock build had was jump jets um it really would be nice to have them it's just hard to fit that in when you're trying to go so heavy in the offensive uh category so i like it i hope y'all enjoy it i'm gonna shut up now and let y'all uh, just listen to the music and watch the gameplay have a good one
employers will be pleased.